evening, ladies and gents. I'll let you all shuffle your bums into your seats and welcome to the 10th Sunday Mail Young Scott Awards. What a great show we have in store for you and what a great start to the show today. It's an absolute honour to recognise uh, young people in Scotland. It's the biggest ever celebration of young people. Let's hear some noise for the real stars of this evening, our incredible finalists. Every single one of you is a winner in your own right. Scotland's future is bright and it is in safe hands with you as its young people. And we must all do what we can to make sure every young person has the best possible opportunity to succeed. There are a number of award categories to be presented tonight that will recognise achievements locally, nationally and globally in all sorts of areas, including community, health, culture, enterprise, arts, volunteering, sport, environment and entertainment. While we celebrate the achievements of all of the winners, we also congratulate all the finalists and all those who have been nominated. I know that so many of you have made a real difference to the lives of others and to your communities across Scotland. So it's important that we do take the opportunity to admire and reflect on what you've achieved. I am here tonight officially representing Young Scott, the National Youth Information and Citizenship Agency of Scotland, which has over 580,000 members. Louise MacDonald, the Chief Executive of Young Scott, was going to give the Young Scott speech tonight, but when she heard that we would be here in this iconic venue in front of all of these people, she thought it would be a good shall we say, opportunity for me? I think she just knew I'd do a better job. <laughs> As many of you know, this year is a very important year for the Young Scott Awards. Tonight marks our 10th anniversary. Over the last decade, there has been 129 winners, 352 finalists, and thousands of nominations pouring in from all across Scotland. This year, the Young Scott Awards received the most nominations ever. And sitting here tonight in this iconic venue, surrounded by so many inspiring young people, I'm sure you'll all agree that our 10th year is the biggest and best ever. This award recognises the important work done by young, young Scots at either uh, inspiring those around them to adopt a healthier lifestyle or in raising awareness of health issues affecting others in their community. Let's take a look at the nominees. Jamie McIntosh from Christorfin in Edinburgh, who has written My Mum Monica, a book aimed at helping young people cope with the loss of a parent through serious illness. It tells the story of his emotions and his mum succumbed to cancer. Natalie Curran. Losing her sight has inspired Natalie to work hard to improve the lives of other visually impaired youngsters. She appeared in the BBC series Being 16 and spoke at a sensory conference in the Scottish Parliament. And The Unstoppables from Dundee. Teenagers who all have one thing in common, type 1 diabetes. They produced a performance about living with a condition in memory of a local girl who died before her diabetes was diagnosed. And the winner tonight is Jamie McIntosh. Well, uh, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> Everyone that's supported me through, through the past 16, 18 months or so, um, I can't thank enough from my dad to, to everybody that's, that's supported me from the family to friends. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> The Skills Development Scotland Enterprise Award celebrates the achievements of the next generation of entrepreneurial young Scots who, in the midst of a financial crisis, have believed in themselves and kept faith in their business idea with spectacular results. Let's take a look at the nominees.
Alina Lipiat, who took a leap of faith in opening her clothes shop in an area of Glasgow not known for fashion. Alina has even sold her clothes to the stars of TOWIE. Mark Flood suffered a stroke when he was 14, but has fought back to win national awards for his animation films, drawn by him and artists from major studios around the world. And Emma MacDonald from Peebles, whose florist business is in full bloom, winning the top title for her creations at the 2014 Scottish Wedding Awards. I'm very pleased to announce that the winner is... Mark Flood! Well, I, I suppose I just need to thank people that have uh, supported me for, um, from start to finish. I'll, I need to say thanks to Young Enterprise Scotland because uh, the head of it, Jeff, is sitting next to me and I know he'll kill me if I don't. So, uh, so thanks, Jeff, and thanks, Young Enterprise Scotland. It's great to be acknowledged for something I got into trouble at school for doing and you get, uh, get kind of <laughs> now too often we hear people moaning about the youth of today but in the next category we get to meet some young people whose hard work and devotion is to be celebrated the community award is brought to us by the Scottish Government and honours young people who devote all their time and effort to helping others. Let's meet the three finalists. Michael Gowan devotes four nights a week and countless other hours to develop and improve his community at Summerhill in Dumfries. He's also an active member of the LGBT National Youth Council. The Clydebank Teenagers are a group of 60 pupils from St Peter and the Apostle High School who gave up their Saturday nights for most of last year and volunteered at two of Scotland's most deprived homeless shelters. And the Recharge Youth Managers, a group of 15 and 16 year olds from Trenent and East Lothian who have used their boundless energy for many worthy campaigns and causes aimed at improving the life of their community. Michael Gowan. Um, <laughs> hi everyone. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of people. <laughs> you have a voice and you can use it so much. Trust me, I had, to, I, I had to learn that the hard way. You get results if you shout at people sometimes. Thank you. generations Scotland has welcomed people of all cultures which is why it's such a diverse and exciting place to live. Our next award pays tribute to the young people who raise awareness of those cultures and speak out against inequalities and in doing so make Scotland a better place for everyone to live. Here are the nominees for the Cultural Diversity Award. Boxing champion Ahmed Ibrahim, who arrived in Glasgow from Kenya 12 years ago and plans to set up a gym to encourage more young people from ethnic minorities to take up sport. Puneet Puri, a law student and member of the Miss Punjabi's dance group who has integrated members of the community through dance and offers legal advice for free in her spare time. And the winner is Puneet Puri. Unfortunately, Epony is travelling back from Greece today and is unable to join us this evening. We'll make sure she gets her trophy when she returns. Thank you, guys. Connor, we'll see you shortly. Yes? Connor and Professor Brown. And well done, Penny. Next up, we have a cutting-edge theatre group, a conductor, a traditional singer 
who are not only the finalists pushing boundaries in this next category, they're also keen to share their artistic endeavours with everyone around them. Here are the nominees for the Arts Award. First up, Ross Gunning, whose passion for music has evolved from playing to directing and conducting. A student at the Royal Conservatoire, Ross is the driving force behind the Glasgow Philharmonia Orchestra, inspiring other young musicians. Claire Hastings, who's 25 and from Dumfries, won BBC Radio Scotland's Young Traditional Musician for 2015. She's played at many festivals and leads a singing workshop for older people with Alzheimer's and dementia. And Hey I'm Alive, a group created by five young performers, one of whom has cystic fibrosis. They've originated a performance which highlights the impact of living with CF on a young person, their friends and family. And the winner for the Arts Award is... Me! <laughs> Ross Gunning. Wow. Uh, first time I was on this stage, I was probably about 10 years old, playing with the National Children's Orchestra. And to think 10 years later I'd be back up here, getting an award like this with such amazing talent. Claire is just an incredible performer as well. Um, thank you so much for tonight, it's such a privilege. Right, the next award is new for 2015 and in celebration of 10 incredible years, this award is for an extraordinary young person who deserves special recognition for their bravery. Someone who has shown amazing courage and triumphed over adversity. Here are the nominees for the Cooperative Food Young Hero Award. Hairdressing student Abby Wardle from Gala Shields. She saved the life of both her mum and her younger brother just a few days apart. The 16-year-old had completed a basic first aid course at Borders General Hospital just weeks before the incidents. Jack Truman, teenage cancer fundraiser Jack's mission to raise thousands of pounds for charity right up until his death. Aged just 15, touched the hearts of the nation. and 14-year-old Matthew Gibb, who raised over £1,700 for the victims of the Glasgow bin lorry crash by singing in shopping centres for cash. Matthew from Sims Hill, who has his own YouTube channel, regularly sings around the city and was deeply affected by the tragedy. And the winner of the Young Hero Award is Jack Truman. Thank you so much. Um, this time last year, Jack was out jogging around Mid Calder. He was out football, he was playing in the band, he was out doing his Bronze Duke of Edinburgh Award um, and having fun like every other teenager. We were speaking to his doctors on Monday who invited us back and what they said was that they didn't actually expect him to live past the first four days when he was taken into intensive care in August. But they said because of his strength and his determination, and the love of these amazing people here. Um, it lasted five months. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. To some people, sport is a kick around with your mates after school or a jog around the park on a Saturday morning. But for others, it's dedication, it's commitment, it's going one step beyond your limits to reach your goals. These next nominees epitomise that devotion to their chosen sport. Let's take a look at the finalists. Erid Davies, the 14-year-old from Shetland whose smile will never be forgotten as she claimed bronze in the women's 100-metre breaststroke at Glasgow 2014. At 13, she's become the Commonwealth Games' youngest ever medalist. Amy Clark, the 15-year-old rhythmic gymnast from Eaglesham, will be flying the flag for Great Britain in the World Special Olympics in Los Angeles this July, following a six-medal haul at the National Games at Bath. 
and Lindsay Sharp, one of Scotland's top athletes. The 24-year-old's miraculous and emotional silver medal performance in the 800 metres will go down as one of the standout moments of the 2014 Commonwealth Games. How are you doing, guys? Um, congratulations to all the winners and the nominees um, and for the Young Scott Sport Award. The winner, the winner is Lindsay Sharp. Sharp. To collect Lindsay's award, please welcome her mum, Carol. Uh, good evening, everyone. I was promised I didn't have to say anything. Uh, so all I can say is, a year ago, probably just about now, Lindsay was just coming out of a cast, um, having been stuck in hospital on an antibiotic drip. And the surgeon said to her, I'm going away for the weekend and when I come back, if that leg hasn't got any better, I'm going to have to open it up again and you'll be, the leg won't be able to be used for six months. And we both knew what it meant. But I was just sitting, like, listening to all the tales of everybody here tonight. And a lot of it makes Lindsay's look quite ordinary actually because she she just runs some of the things that people have done tonight are truly remarkable uh, now we all know that scotland is home to some beautiful sights and sounds the highlands the islands lochs and heather anstruther and fife our next nominees have a passion for the country we live in, green issues and sustainability. Let's take a look at the nominees for the Scottish Gas Environment Award. Twenty-two-year-old Christopher Linton from Montrose is a volunteer with the National Trust of Scotland in the gardens at House of Dunn, where he spends more than 30 hours a week helping to maintain the grounds. Ryan Harris is an environmental crusader who, despite being homeless, is determined to make his community beautiful for the local residents. The 24-year-old also works at a local group where they fix bikes by recycling parts from old cycles. And Charlie's Plot, a group of 10 to 14-year-olds at Methyl Hill in Fife, which is tackling the effects of climate change in their hometown by getting the community planting fruit and vegetables in a community learning garden. Can you hear me? Hi. I'm back. Uh, the winner is Ryan Harris. Whoa. <laughs> um, thanks. I, I didn't expect to have to do a speech. I'm trying to see people I know, but I can't see anything up here for the lights. Um, <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank Tommy, obviously, uh, and Claude, my boss for the, for the stables, and everybody else that's there. I can't remember any names. Um, I said I wasn't nervous, but. That might have crept in. Um, thank you. Yeah. Uh, going to school, college, work, finding time to see your family and friends. There never seems to be a spare minute left in the day. But this next group of finalists can put us all to shame because they find the time to do all of that and volunteer to help others too. Here are the nominees for the Scotch Beef Volunteering Award. Ryan Ledgerwood, who's 17, has tirelessly carried out over 1,500 hours volunteering in his local community at youth clubs and sessions with vulnerable adults. He's now on a youth work modern apprenticeship. Lauren strains a guardian angel to unjustly convicted women prisoners in Malawi, securing the release of three of them. The big-hearted 18-year-old from Coatbridge also distributes funds and supplies on trips to Africa. And Scott Sutherland from Glasgow, who after suffering personal trauma has dedicated his time to the Prince's Trust. His motivation and eagerness to achieve are an inspiration. How's y'all doing? You's all right? How's y'all doing? And the winner is... Ryan Ledgerwood. Oh, 
I'd like to thank Gun Scott and the panel judges for giving me the fantastic award. I feel so proud. Uh, I would also like to take this opportunity to thank Natalie McNair for helping me for the last two years and Catherine Verde for putting up with me in the get home for the last seven years. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Now we all have a bit of glitz and glamour and as previous winners of our next award such as Paolo Nutini, Karen Gillen, Amy McDonald, uh, Nicholas McDonald and we'll tell you Fame and Fortune don't come overnight, it can take years and years of hard work. Tonight's nominees for the Megabus Entertainment Award are Kira Lucchese from Cardonald in Glasgow is one of Scotland's top young actresses, best known for her gritty portrayal of Stella Walker in BBC Scotland's River City, which is followed by over half a million viewers. Next up is Ian Henderson. The 20-year-old Cardonald College student's three-minute film about what makes Glasgow great was screened at the opening ceremony of the 2014 Commonwealth Games and seen by millions of people around the world. And Eva Akaladi, who's 16, was ready to take up a place at the prestigious Dance School of Scotland when she got the call that changed her life. She's now playing Lily Watson in the new CBBC series Eve, a sci-fi series about a robot trying to pass herself off as a real teenage girl. And the winner is Kira Lucchesi. <laughs> it's lovely to be recognised for something that you're kind of alright at, so thanks very much. Um, I just want to say a couple of thank yous. Uh, the first person I want to say thanks to is my best pal, Paul Corrigan. Uh, secondly, I want to say thank you to my lovely boyfriend, David Taman Jr. Um, I'm very lucky because I get to work with people that I love and I trust, so it's inevitable that I, they get the best out of me. Uh, the last person I want to say thanks to is Martin McCarty, who's been there since I was a wee lassie, and if it wasn't for him, I don't know where I'd be. Peace, love and happiness, thank you very much. Now, we all know someone who goes above and beyond the norm. Someone who puts, always puts others before themselves and whose compassion can mean so much to other people, yet they don't ask for the limelight or for rewards. They do what they do out of the kindness of their own heart. And this next award celebrates that. It's the Unsung Hero Awards. Let's take a look at the finalists. Kevin Martin's troubled life turned around after he had the opportunity to do community work in South Africa with kids from shanty towns. It made him realise he wanted to do more to help young people here and is now a trainee youth worker in Easterhouse. Next, it's Patrick Keelman. The 11-year-old from Bishop Briggs in Glasgow raised £5,000 for charity by cycling from Land's End to John O'Groats as a thank you for the care he'd received at Glasgow Sick Children's Hospital. And Hayley Lees from Aberdeen. The 21-year-old suffered sexual abuse as a child and has set up the organisation Never Never, where young people can come to her for advice and support. And Hayley has also delivered workshops in local schools. And the winner of the Unsung Hero Award is... Kevin Martin. I'd just like to thank um, Chris Kerr, who's away up the top. Uh, he was kind of the man that got me the job in the first place, like, I do your fuck. I'd like to thank uh, Sharon Keenan as well. She was, um, she helped me get into college in the first place as well, so. My two brothers are up there as well, just want to say thanks to them. Uh, Amanda's up there and Adele's up there who I work with. Um, just like to say thanks to everybody and the nominees, well done to them as well. Though. Thanks very much for nominating me. It's time to find out who from the 11 winners will receive our final award tonight. The biggie, the Young Scot of 2015. To present the award, please welcome to the stage Deputy First Minister John Swinney and from our sponsors, Scottish Gas, Gordon Morrison. Well, friends, 
It's a huge privilege to be with you tonight and to see the finest young people in the world contributing to the life of Scotland. And tonight, tonight, Nicola Sturgeon would have loved to have been here tonight to celebrate tonight with you. Uh, she's been, as she said in her film, grilled on television for the election and I think I got the better deal out of tonight by coming here tonight, I can assure you. This has been a night of celebrating the finest that there is amongst our young people in Scotland and we've had so many examples of the great contribution that young people are making to improving the lives of others within our society and appreciating what's good and strong about living here in Scotland. So before I announce the winner, please give yourselves the biggest cheer for the great success of young people in Scotland. It's my pleasure to announce that the 2015 Young Scot Award goes to Jack Truman. Thank you so much. I'm looking at these bright lights at the top of the, the theatre. The last time I stood up here was when I was conducting my school choir at a Bernardo's competition and my son was sitting down there cheering me on. We miss him so much, but I know and I knew when we knew that there wasn't going to be any recovery for him that he was going to touch millions of lives and he has done that. And he will continue to do that. And we will make sure that his legacy lives on by helping hundreds and thousands and millions of other young people. And thank you. He really, really deserves this award. And thank you so much for giving him it. For someone I can see Let's take my hand Let's see what we are So pack your stuff Let's take this to the sky Thank you, Young Scott Awards. See you all very soon.